Investors felt good about last Friday's U.S. jobs report, expecting it would increase the probability the Fed would be more inclined to be cutting rates going forward. Stocks rebounded as a result on that same free money, lower for longer mentality that has been supporting stocks for a decade. Currencies, however, were less sure of themselves, with most of the price action and FX confined to familiar consolidation ranges. We have seen the emergence of some U.S. dollar selling amidst the ongoing soft dollar trade policy initiative out of the U.S. administration, though the U.S. dollar selling has been more prominent against the major currencies. Over in the U.K., Boris Johnson is still posturing for a deal, retaining his hardline stance that the U.K. will be walking away on the 31st of October, deal or no deal. Of course, there are obstacles that stand in the Prime Minister's way if he intends to pull this off, and overall, the pound hasn't suffered all that much from the latest news, seemingly fully immune to impulsive reactions relating to a saga with so many twists and turns. Looking at the calendar for the remainder of the day, it's all quite light. Key standouts come from German factory orders, some Eurozone investor confidence reads, and another Fed Chair Powell appearance later in the day. That's all for now.